Hello students, in this video we'll define compactness with respect to the metric topology of the real numbers. Definition, we say that K, a subset of R, is compact if every sequence in K contains a subsequence converging to a point in K. Okay, and so our main goal now is we're going to state the hein borel theorem. So here's the theorem. Let's do Duhaini and Borel. It says that K, a subset of R, is compact if and only if it is closed and bounded. Okay. So let's first suppose that K is compact. Suppose that K is compact. and unbounded. Let's suppose that it's unbounded as well. Okay, so then I can find a sequence. There is a sequence a n in our set k with a n strictly bigger than n. That's what we can do about unboundedness. And so therefore, but this sequence has a convergent subsequence. This has a convergent subsequence with a n k bigger than n sub k, and that's impossible. Impossible. Because if the sequence is, if the subsequence converges, that convergent subsequence has to be bounded. We've proven in previous videos that a sequence converges implies that the sequence is bounded, so that's impossible. And so this implies, so hence, hence k is bounded. Okay. Now let's let let's let B be a limit point of K. So there's a limit point of K. And we can choose a sequence BN in K such that BN converges to B. We can also choose a subsequence, any subsequence, any subsequence. must also converge to B. But we know by definition of compactness that there is such a subsequence that is going to converge, and that has to converge to a point in K. So one subsequence, one such subsequence, converges to a point in K. But that point has to be B. So in other words, B's in K. This must be B. Hence, B's in K. And that pr proves that K prime is contained in K. And that implies that uh, K is closed. So K is closed. So if it's compact, it's bounded, and it's closed. Now let's go the opposite direction. Let's suppose that the set K is closed and bounded. So if K is closed and bounded, suppose K is closed and bounded. And let A N be a sequence in K. Since A N is in K and K is bounded, bolzano weierstrauss implies that there's an convergent subsequence so a and k converges to a point a that's in 
Okay. All right. Okay. Now, what do we know? So, I'd like to I'd like to conclude, and we don't necessarily know, so we like to conclude that A is in, is in K, then we'd be done, right? So, Bolzano virus starts just as there's the convergent subsequence. We don't know it's in K just yet, right? So, K is closed and bounded. Bolzano, so, the sequence is in a bounded is in a bounded set. So, there's a convergent subsequence by Bo, Bo, Bolzano virus Strauss. I'd like to show that that point is in K. Now, what I have here is I have a sequence of points in K and a convergent subsequence. So, what that tells me that tells me that this point A is a limit point. Point of K. So this A, here A, is a limit point of K, and the limit points of K are contained in K because K is closed. So we've just found a subsequence that converges to a point A, which is in K, which implies that the set K is compact. So hence, K is compact. And this gives us our first characterization of compact subsets of the real line. Thank you very much.